Hey guys, welcome to the workout of the week brought to you by the Get Better Project. This one is super simple, meaning that it either takes just two dumbbells or no equipment at all. If you guys would like to get these workouts every single day, make sure that you give me your email address and I'll give you 30 free days of the Get Better Project at home program. So you can have 30 days of all of the fun stuff that we do, including nutrition, stress relief, all that fun stuff. The workout of the week is six rounds of 20 dumbbell bench presses or 25 floor presses if you do not have a bench because a lot of people don't have a bench at their house and a 400 meter run. And there's also subs for the 400 meter run if you're not able to leave your house or you've got kids and you need to watch them while you're doing a workout or whatever. Just head over to the website at the Get Better Project or use the link below and you will get all of those options for the workout today. If you're doing the bench press, you're just gonna need two dumbbells. The RX for today is 50 pound dumbbells for the men, 35 pound dumbbells for the women, but it really doesn't matter. It's more about figuring out what weight you should use for the workout, which should be a weight that you can do at least the first round or first 20 or 25 reps, no problem, unbroken. For the dumbbell bench press, I'm gonna use this wall back here so you can get creative when you're doing these particular movements. I'm gonna pick up the dumbbells, walk back to the wall. I'm gonna lay myself down on the wall here. I'm gonna bring the dumbbells all the way down to my chest. I'm gonna squeeze my glutes, squeeze my abs, keep my chest nice and open, and then press the dumbbells up overhead. So I'm gonna come all the way back down to my chest, press the dumbbells up overhead. Completely locked out position, all right? So fully locked out fully down to my chest, fully locked out, fully down to my chest. Then when I need to get out of this, I can drop the dumbbells or I can push them to my knees and pop myself right back up. And then for the floor press, so let's say that you don't have a sweet wall like we do here, you're gonna put the dumbbells down on the ground, sit down next to those dumbbells, prop them up onto your thighs here, and then just lean back. Have your knees bent, Again, lift your chest. You're gonna not be able to squeeze your glutes quite as much, but you can press your heels into the ground and you're gonna squeeze your abs. Then you're gonna press up overhead, fully locked out, and then just return those dumbbells back down to where your elbows hit the ground and then back up and down. One thing I would like to mention on this is if you do not have a soft surface, if you're doing it on concrete or something like that, lay a towel down so that it's underneath your arms because it can get a little bit abusive on your bones if they're hitting the ground, if you have a very hard surface there. Then let's talk about running. Running is something that adults seem to complicate, uh, even the ones that sign up for all these races and marathons and things like that. Running is simply holding a good posture, which may be the first problem, right? Not enough people hold themselves accountable with their posture. So having good posture, shoulders back, chest up, slightly bent knees, feet underneath your hips, and then you're just going to fall forward, picking your knees up quickly off the ground and accelerating by falling forward further, okay? So you're just going to fall forward, pick your legs up off the ground. Ideally, once you get better at it, you will initiate the knee or foot coming up off of the ground with your hamstring. It takes a little bit of time if you're not used to it though. So the form position is that you're like so, and then like so, you're just basically doing this over and over again. Things to avoid when running. Heel striking by overstriding. So let's say you, you usually take a really big stride and you hit the ground like this. That is not good for us. It's going to give a lot of impact into your body and it's going to actually slow us down. Think about that. If we're trying to go in this direction and you hit your heel first in this position, doesn't it seem like there's something wrong here? It doesn't make any sense. You want to hit the ground in your midfoot so that it keeps you going forward into the next stride. You also want to have everything nice and lined up, right? Your knee should track in the direction of your toes. Everything should continue moving in this forward direction. And you can see how it doesn't make sense if this goes this way or this way, or these arms go like so. It should be a fairly straight, nice running form. One person you can go and look at is the guy that just ran the two hour marathon and there's tons of YouTube videos on that. He just runs so fluid and it's a beautiful thing to watch if you would like to use your mirror neurons and watch him run 
which I've done and it's great. So if you guys have any questions about the pressing or the running, let me know. Do the workout, it's very straightforward. There's six rounds of 20 bench press or 25 floor press and a 400 meter run. Like I said, if you need subs for the running or you want to do something like the non-dumbbell version, head over to the website, the link below, and you'll get all set up on that. And if you would like to try the 30 days of the Get Better Project for free, which I recommend everybody does right now, it's not just workouts, it's a complete program, workouts, nutrition, stress, sleep, we talk about all of it, as well as daily challenges to keep you moving and motivated. Head over to the Get Better Project to check out what the workouts look like and then send us your email if you wanna get the free 30 days. That's simple as that. All right guys, we'll see you on the next workout of the week and hopefully in the Get Better Project.